Hi everybody, it's Kelsey Rihanna J here with a video on the new Kat Von D Blush Duos. And I wanted to come and give you this review so you can get my opinion on how I actually feel about them, on how they apply, on the longevity of them, the color payoff, pigmentation, and so forth and so forth. So I bought four of the shades. I also um, want to go ahead and apologize if you all hear any loud noises in the background. Typically when I film, I go ahead and turn off the heat because it is so, so loud in the living room. But because it is so cold outside today, I'm just not gonna be able to do it. So whenever the heat comes on, I'll just talk louder. Let's try to power through it because I really wanna get this video up before anybody buys these blushes so you can get an informed opinion on what I actually think about them. Yes. Kat Von D came out with seven new blush duos. So these are called the Kat Von D Shade Plus Light Two-Tone Blushes. And the blushes are named after notorious couples, except for one blush I believe is named after her cats. So I'll go ahead and go through the colors and tell you what they are. Um, Samson and Delilah is a bright poppy pink slash pale coral. Hansel and Gretel is a terracotta slash apricot. Sid plus Nancy is a bright tulip slash ballet pink. Mickey plus Mallory is a baked peach slash porcelain pink. Morticia plus Gomez is a rich fig slash orchid petal. Bonnie plus Clyde is an ultraviolet slash light lilac. And then lastly, Piaf plus Poe equals a chestnut rose slash soft pink. So like I told you, I purchased four of them. The four that I got are the ones that were in my Sephora that I felt like were most suitable for my skin tone. If Morticia and Gomez had been there, I probably would have purchased that one. But since it was not, I did not order it online because I really wanted to try the blushes first and get a feel for the formulation. And then later on, if I liked Morticia and Gomez, then I'll go ahead and I would have purchased that one. Um, these blushes retail for $25. They sell it in Sephora online, Sephora independent stores, and Sephora's inside of JCPenney's. So this is the packaging and it is true to her packaging. It looks just like the shade and light contour palette. It looks just like the shade and light eye palette. So of course when she came out with the shade and light blushes, the packaging was going to continue on with the flow. So of the four shades that I picked up, I got Bonnie plus Clyde, Hansel and Gretel, let's see. Samson and Delilah and I got Sid plus Nancy and right now I have on Bonnie plus Clyde with another combination. I'll go ahead and insert the video of me applying it so I applied it right here and then I have on an hourglass bronzer and then a Too Faced highlighter. The Too Faced highlighter I have on is the Warm Glow Candlelight highlighter which is my first time using this product. So basically I've been using these blushes for the past week and a half or so. So every since I've gotten them, I'll pretty much wear them every single day because I want to actually get a good feel for them so I can give you the most informed review that I can. So because I've tested these blushes for the past week and a half, I've worn it with different foundations, different looks. It's been different weather circumstances. Right now it's even going to snow. So I've done a lot of things to manipulate the blushes and I don't want to bash Kat Von D, but I just don't like these blushes. I feel like they're very, very hard pressed in the pan. And to me, when blushes are like that, I feel like they almost always apply splotchy. It's hard to get an even swirl with the blush. And because of that, it's hard to get an even application on your cheeks. Now I made it work. These blushes are $25, which isn't super expensive considering that I've paid upwards of $60 for blushes before. It's not so much that I'm concerned about the price. I just feel like the product is very subpar and I just expected a little bit more from the blushes just because of what we've been given within the past two years. So within the past two years, I've purchased the Kat Von D uh, contour palette for the face. I've purchased the Kat Von D contour and eye palette for the eyes. I've purchased the uh, Mi Vida Loca palette. I've purchased some of her liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks. And um, what else have I purchased from her? So... The main thing that I love from Kat Von D, like of her whole line, are her individual eyeshadows. I feel like those are heavenly. So I was hoping 
and praying. Now these blushes were going to be somewhere along the lines of that really nice finely milled formula that she has given us with these eyeshadows and these blushes just are not that. These blushes are just super super just hard and I don't like a super hard blush and I mean, I feel like the packaging, like the outside packaging is plastic and it's $25 so you can't really expect a whole lot. I feel like I like the actual design of it, the aesthetics, I think it looks pretty. Um, it's a giant, giant, giant blush so to give you a little bit of something to compare it to i think at this point we're all pretty familiar with mac blushes this is just a palette that i made so let's just compare it to the size of one mac blush so this is a standard mac blush it comes with about six grams of product versus a Kat Von D blush that comes with nine grams of product. So basically, in this pan, you're getting one and a half MAC blushes versus this one, and these are about $4 more than MAC blushes. So it's a good value for the amount of products that you get in them, it's just that the product does not actually deliver. So um, it comes with two different sizes, the shade plus the light shade, which once you apply it on, it's just super splotchy. So so um, these also swatch terribly like they're really powdery formula and I don't know if you all like that or not but I personally am not a fan I like my blushes to have a little bit more of a thicker is there such thing as a thicker powder I like my powder to be a little thicker I like my powder to be what am I trying to say I like my powder to be a little bit weightier I just don't like my powder to be as powdery. Not a finely milled kind of powder like glide on like just butter. No, like a powder that goes on like baby powder, like powder. I don't like that. So this is Bonnie and Clyde. So that one probably swatches the best out of all of the blush duos that I got. And then when you wipe it away, it just wipes away. It leaves no stain. Like you can literally probably go like this and blow it out. The stain powder, power. So in my opinion, the stain power of these blushes just is not strong enough for her to claim a 24 hour wear on them. And also another thing that I really, really thought was cheap with these was that these are not glued down well. So you can see it moving and I can just press it up and I've had this probably no more than a week or maybe two weeks at this point. So I've not had this long at all and the packaging is just super flimsy and at first I thought they were um, magnetic and so I could just take it out I was like okay cool that's a cool touch because you know not everybody likes individual packaging so if you have something that's magnetic then people can take it out and put it in their Z palettes makeup artists can you know maneuver a little bit quicker with stuff that's magnetic versus individual stuff but upon discovery, this is not magnetic. It just is that the glue is not secured enough in there. So I just was very disappointed in that. Um, this one is Hansel and Gretel. And I was most excited for this color because even though I do super bold eye looks sometimes and super bold lip colors, most of the times on my cheeks, I'm going to go the safe route and go with a more neutral tone blush. Like I just always do that. I think it's partly because I my face is so round so I don't try to draw a lot of attention here because I don't want to look like a pie face so because of that this was the color that I was thinking I was going to enjoy most it is these type colors are really complementary to my skin tone the terracotta bronzy orangey colors just really are like my natural colors that make me look glowy so um, when I was applying this one it did the opposite it was just chalky on all of these blushes the lightest shade is just way 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 too light for me to wear by itself and I was kind of disappointed in that because I was thinking that at least a few of them would have two colors in them that would be suitable for medium to darker skin tones and none of them are like every single last one is just super 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 light so here it is swatched on the back of my hands and you can see um, what I'm saying, how chalky the lightest shade is. It's almost like a disgrace to your deeper skin tone clients. Like it's just like, really? 
smack me in my face you're not gonna make a shade for us to be able to wear like both of them without swirling it they're just super super light um but on that note i do like how big each individual pan is so you're able to fit your brush on one side or the other side comfortably but because of how light the shades are i mean it's not like i would just wear the light one by itself anyways okay so this one is samson and delilah and this one i got because i thought it would be super pretty for spring but shh, it's terrible. and again this one has that loose glue too you can probably see how it's just coming on up one little pop and they'll take you down and then here they are swatch like just swatch the swatches are just like dust hold on i'm gonna blow it you probably gonna see it I hope you saw that dust. And then lastly, I have Sid plus Nancy, which people were really mad about this one because the backstory for them. I don't really know very much about Sid and Nancy. All I know is that I think it was an abusive relationship and he ended up killing her in the end. So they were like, why are you trying to romanticize them and blah, 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 blah. So it's just like, girl, it's blush, calm down. Okay, so again, this is one of the shades that I picked up, thinking this will be good for me for spring. Okay, so this one is one of the worst ones as far as like how it's such a hard pan blush. I almost would have to dig this if I wanted to wear it. Swatch. Okay. Just like white blushes. And then I'm just gonna compare it really quick. Gonna compare it really quick. This is a MAC bl uh, blush palette that I just made. So real quick, I'm just gonna grab a few of these shades and just swatch it. Even the ones that are just kinda harder to swatch, I'm just gonna show you what they look like in comparison. You see how it's just such a more saturated, that's, that's the word I was looking for earlier. A more saturated blush, saturated with color. Doesn't wipe away so easily. You see what I mean? How it kind of left a little bit of something, something behind, even though I didn't really dig it in there. And this one is kind of stained, and I barely even did it. So that's just my overall opinion on these Cap One D Shade Plus Light blushes. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm super disappointed in them because it's not like I was just extra looking forward to these blushes like these blushes were on my to buy list for five years and I finally got them and I'm just so disappointed I'm not so disappointed in them because it's not like I'm just like gonna miss them I just feel like she could have done such a better job especially considering we know what her brand is capable of so for her to deliver this for the blushes after we've gotten such phenomenal products bang 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 back to back it's just kind of a lit down. So, I personally am not going to purchase any more of these blushes. If she decides to reformulate them later, then I will consider purchasing one and trying it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you all are going to purchase them or have purchased them, again, on my channel, I deliver the truth. So I buy stuff and try it out for you so you're not wasting your hard earned money on stuff that you're just going to be disappointed by. And I know that my opinion is not the end all be all, but I know a lot of people respect what I have to say just because how of how long, number one, I've been actually buying and using makeup my background of working in the cosmetic industry as a makeup artist and also about my knowledgeable recommendations and reviews because I'm not just going to try something one time and then tell you to go buy it or tell you that it's terrible. I like to try stuff several times in order to give you the most honest review that I can and that's just what I think about these. So I love Kat Von D. I have been watching her since she was on LA Inc. I love her tattoos. I think she's super cool and just bomb. But these are a absolute fail. But I will still purchase from her brand just because she has a proven track record that she's able to produce hits. So I'm not going to stop shopping with her but I will not buy any more of these. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe so you're notified when it drops on this channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Smooches. Bye.